Good day everyone, this is Crypto Portfolio and my name is Dan. I am Ethereum Maximalist and today I want to discuss the growing importance of Ethereum-based assets in the ecosystem. With the available data on coin market cap, I made a comparison of cryptocurrency platforms in terms of trade volume, market capitalization, number of crypto assets. By the way, crypto asset is a currency or token that depends on a cryptocurrency as a platform to operate. As an example, I can give you Melonport, which is based on Ethereum blockchain and in order to operate, it doesn't need its own nodes. There are multiple advantages of not having to own blockchain for the crypto asset. One of the most vital advantages is that the blockchain project doesn't need to create its own blockchain infrastructure, because it can use already existing one. It is not super hard to build uh, the blockchain, but it is quite hard to support its continuous existence. And that's where the usage of platforms is beneficial for projects. I noticed some interesting things about Ubik, which is a fork of Ethereum. Uh, and instead of whining about DAO debacle like Ethereum Classic, they actually put their effort into creating a strong competitor to Ethereum. Right now, Ubik platform has crypto assets which have much bigger valuation and trade volume than Ethereum Classic's assets. Uh, let me make it perfectly clear here. While having strong assets, Ubik's valuation is times lower than Ethereum Classic. That's fascinating because I can see the market irrationality in this fact. Alright, uh, let's start our journey into the depth of crypto assets market. Ethereum crypto assets dominate the cryptocurrency world in terms of trade volume, market capitalization and number of assets. What about the concrete numbers? Ethereum assets occupy 79% of daily trade volume on all exchanges while Omni assets take second place with 19% of daily trade volume of crypto assets. Other blockchains are not that interesting in terms of trade. Here I can only mention Ubik with almost 1% of daily trade volume. Ethereum Classic assets, which include only InPay, occupy only 0.01% of all crypto assets trades. What can we say about the capitalization of crypto assets? Ethereum-based assets take almost 87% of market capitalization, while Omni assets take 6.42%, Waves 2.21%, Next 1.8%, Neo 1.08%, and others take less than 1% of total market capitalization of crypto assets. It is interesting to note that even though Ubik assets have more trade volume, uh, the crypto assets of this blockchain are less valued. Let's explore the general numbers of crypto assets market a little bit. 6% is the crypto assets capitalization to all cryptocurrencies. I expect that to change. Ethereum assets on coin market cap occupy 79% of trade volume, 86% of market cap, and 56% in terms of number of projects. Uh, so, Ethereum assets dominate the daily trade volume uh, with almost 80% of trades concentrated exclusively on ERC20 tokens on all exchanges in comparison to other crypto assets. It looks like the influence of Ethereum on this market is going to grow. This blockchain is still the most preferred one due to its reliability, smart contracts and popularity. The most traded Ethereum assets will later adopt their own blockchains. For example, Amisa Go, uh, Qtum and EOS. I will cover it a little bit more on the next slide. Omni assets take second place in the market cap or trade volume ranking having Tifer as the most capitalized and traded asset. Omni is not very popular blockchain, so only old projects exist on it. It seems like the significance of Omni assets uh, is going to decline in the future. In my humble opinion, successful crypto assets are expected to overcome the platforms in terms of capitalization at some point in time. Like Magnit, the retail company in Russia, costs more than the exchange where it is traded. But 
Ethereum is also a currency, so maybe crypto assets will not be able to overcome Ethereum capitalization. Ubic, which is a fork of Ethereum, shows some interesting results in dynamic development. Uh, there is certainly a lack of attention towards this coin, especially when the fork of Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, not having any significant projects on its blockchain, has more valuation than Ubic. And Ubic has projects which are actively traded and quite highly valued in comparison to Ethereum Classic assets. Here I would like to show the most valued projects on different blockchains. Ethereum has Amisa Go, Qtum and 10x. Amisa Go and Qtum are assets which are going to be converted later into other blockchains. And EOS is another example. But Ethereum is still a monopolist in terms of projects uh, which are going to be completely reliant on on the Ethereum blockchain in the future. For example, Status, Melonport, Augur, 10X, Gnosis, Basic Attention Token, and others. Omni has two very popular assets, Tifer and MateSafe. Tifer is basically a USD-packed coin, but it has flaws, flaws in it. For example, a lack of liquidity in uh, USD to support its supply of coins, and MateSafe is a decentralized storage solution. Ubic has two coins which are valued at about $10 million each. Uh, Quark is a payment system and APX is a mining project. NEO has some projects coming to its blockchain, but currently it has only gas crypto asset. Waves is an interesting case. While having quite a large market cap, its assets are poorly traded. Mobile Go, Wager and Incent are the most interesting assets on the Waves blockchain. Thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Didn't like it, thumbs down. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye until next time.